Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty in chapter twenty three. Chapter twenty three is about electric potentials. This is a follow up for problems nineteen, right? So in this case, we know the charge density increases as the square of the distance from the center of the spherical object, and as the center, this is a rho e equal to zero, and then same same thing. We need to find the electric potential and the at everywhere electric field is at everywhere and then plot the graphs right so now first one we write down what is given in this hand so charge density increases as a squared of the distance so we write the function look like this one do you agree you can see r squared right k is a constant so it looks like we need to find the constant k to write down this uh, rho e function right as we know the q the total charge q is given so the total charge q equal to the integral we use this uh, density times the surface for one shell right and then times the dr then do the integral from zero to r naught and then we get function look like this one so in this function we can get the constant k and then we write k inside the function rho e. So finally, we find the rho e function is there. So this is get prepared. Now we can see we need to find the electric field outside. So we use a Gaussian surface, right? Draw a Gaussian surface. We can know in this case, electric field times Gaussian surface equal to enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. Agree? Yes. And then we can write electric field as look like this one. So it looks like electric field is pointing outward, radically outward. Agree? And the DL also outward. Right? So now you can see we have this function in our test book. So we have one reference point we consider is A. And in this case, uh, fun in this part, in this question, we consider at the infinity, the v equal to zero. So in, we replace a as infinity, right? A as infinity, and e we put it inside, and the dr dl is just the dr, right? And then you can get the function, do the integral, and get the function at zero. As we know, the phi is zero. So at the infinity, we v infinity equal to zero. So in this case, we know outside of this radius, the potential equal to this function, right? And then we look at the inside. When we look at the inside, you can see, because from outside, we know the potential difference, the potential, electric potential is equal to this function. Now we look at the inside, still similar thing, the r is uh, smaller than r naught, so we can draw a Gaussian surface to find its electric field dense. The electric field dense similarly is the E times the Gaussian surface equal to enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught, right? Now, how do you find enclosed charge? So this is uses the charge density times the four pi r squared times dr and this integral from zero to r, right? zero to r. So in this case, you can gain close the charge. And then you input is a rho e inside, finally you find enclose the charge in this function. And replace oh, and input is a enclosed charge inside, you get the function for e inside this spherical object. Mm -hmm. Now it looks like we need to find the v at this location. So we also select a reference point as this one, right, V, the R naught. And this one is given at there. So in this case, we consider the A as the R naught, right? And then we can see the E. If we draw it, E is pointing outward because it carry positive charge. DL just pointing outward, similar thing. So E dot dl just uses the magnitude of the e times the dr so input the e e inside the input the e inside we do this integral and then we can get a function for vr 
and this can be simplified as this one, right? Now we need to plot the v and e versus r. So you can see we have two constant: the potential at the surface and the electric field at the surface. We write it as v naught and e naught, okay? And then we can simplify the v e functions with the v naught, e naught. And then we get the function look like this one. Then you just need to plot this uh, function, plot this function, plot this function, plot this function. Look like this one, right? So far, after you plot it, you look at this one. Thank you.